Hi everybody, my name is Bree and welcome back to my channel, Bree's Arts. Alright everybody, I'm really excited about today's video because not only is it sponsored by Skillshare, who I will talk about a little bit later in the video, but I am involved in a collaboration with three other amazing YouTubers. So what we have decided to do is to create some beautiful, high-end looking spring decor using pastel colors. Now I've chosen to use the color blue, is that a surprise to anybody? Because it's my favorite color. So with all of that being said, you guys, let's get into the first DIY. All right, here we go. DIY number one. All right, look at this cute little birdhouse, you guys. I got it from Dollarama. Now, I know that they do have these little wooden birdhouses at Dollar Tree as well. They are a little bit smaller than this one, but it would this would work 100% with one of those for sure. And so I am taking my cashew from Waverly, and I'm just going to coat the roof of this little birdhouse here. Now I, I understand that it is almost the same color as that natural wood, but I just did not want any of the natural wood color to be showing on this roof. So the cashew was a perfect color choice for this. And you'll see why in a second. And so now I am mixing because I don't have any really light, light blue colors, like no pastel blue colors. So I'm just taking some of my favorite color, Nantucket Blue by Folk Art, and some of my white chalk paint. And I'm just mixing that up in a bowl here and creating my own pastel blue. And it's beautiful. I think it's such a pretty color. And so I'm just going to use that pastel blue and go all the way around all of the walls of this little birdhouse, as well as like, you know, that little perch and the bottom legs and like just the rest of it. And now completely out of frame as I tend to do, I'm just using my chippy brush and a little bit of my white chalk paint and just distressing just a little bit. Now, a lot of this you won't see, but I did want to make sure that it looked like natural, you know, a natural distress. And now this cardstock, this patterned beautiful paper, I got from Dollarama and they come in these little, I think they're, are they six by six? I think they're six by six um, packages and there's a whole bunch of different um, patterns and whatnot in all these packages. They're absolutely stunning. And so what I did there is I just measured it off for each one of my little walls there. It is a hexagon shape. And just going around, I am going to, you know, use a little bit of Mod Podge and we are going to decoupage this paper down. So putting a layer of Mod Podge down and then of course going over the top to make sure that it is nice and secure. And we are gonna do this for every single one of those panels except for the very front where the, the little bird house hole is. <laughs> but isn't that paper so pretty? Oh my goodness, you guys. I just love it. Um, it just worked out so well. It's so, so lovely. All right. And so now I am going to take this sun hat. So this particular sun hat is from Dollarama. Um, however, you can absolutely use the ones from the Dollar Tree as well. And I've seen this done by a few creators. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to find like the ending seam of this hat and I'm just using my scissors there and I'm going to cut that seam apart and then legit just rip 
all the way around and it comes apart completely like it's so so easy so I'm just pulling that apart there and then you end up with kind of like a little ribbon it's it's perfect and so all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this fabric from the hat here and I'm just going to hot glue that all the way around on the roof of my little birdhouse and so just making sure that it's nice and even and you will see like when I'm going along each one of the sides of the roof there you can see there I'm pinching along the edge like the the downward edge of the house so that it creates a ridge that goes down and I can make sure that my ribbon is nice and straight all the way around the house if that makes any sense to you guys you can see what I'm doing you know just hot gluing and then making sure that it's straight on the next you know portion of the of the roof there and around and around and around we go and so using one of these little um, candle holders from the Dollar Tree, I am going to shablam, paint that up with my cashew chalk paint. And I did two coats because it is glass. So you, the first coat, you know, you see all the streakies. And then just using a little bit of my antique wax, I'm just distressing it down a little bit just to bring out the uh the details in that candlestick there and so this flower again i did get this one from dollarama but there are flowers that are very very similar at the dollar tree as well so i just cut off you know a little bit of that and i'm going to attach that to the front of my birdhouse and keep in mind you guys i am just using these colors because that's what makes my eyes happy you guys do you if you want to throw like super colorful gorgeous vibrant flowers on here absolutely like do your style for sure this is just you know I'm doing blue pastel and I just love these colors together and so I'm going to take just one of those little flowers from that pick there and put it on the top of my birdhouse. And these butterflies are from Dollarama as well. I just grabbed one of the blue ones and I'm just going to hot glue that to the top of my birdhouse. And it just gives it that adorable touch. Isn't it so pretty? And then the last thing, you guys, just gluing that house on top of the candlestick. And this is done. And I think it's just so, so pretty. So as I mentioned before, I am in this amazing collaboration with these three lovely ladies, Maya from Make It With Maya, Amber from DIY With Amber, and Sandra from The Schwoen's Nest. This is a hop style playlist, you guys, so make sure you check my description box for the next video in the hop. And just a quick reminder for anyone who's new from the hop, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And now on to DIY number two. All right, you guys, so just taking one of these artist palettes that I get at Dollarama. This one is a 12 by 12. I am using some of my Nantucket blue and white mixture there and just going around the edges here and on the outside edges as well. And then just taking my sanding block, going around and just distressing it down just a titch to bring out that natural wood color. 
And so you guys, legit, check out this placemat from the Dollar Tree. Isn't it stunning? I think it is so gorgeous. Those watercolor flowers, oh, love, 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 love. So you can see here, I'm just, I measured it down. Because the palette was 12 by 12, I just measured it down to 11 by 11 so that there is an, a half an inch on each one of those edges. And then just using my hot glue, just putting that down into place on my palette there. And now using some of my braided rope that I get on Amazon, I will link it down in my description box. I use it all the time. I've gone through probably three rolls of this braided rope, you guys. I think it's just so, so pretty. And just using my hot glue, going around, just, you know, giving it that finishing touch all the way around the edges of that placemat and then cutting off the excess. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at these colors, so pretty. All right, so this little welcome word, it is wood, and I got it from one of my wonderful subscribers. Her name is Cindy. She sent me a whole shwack of stuff from the States, and so this one is from Hobby Lobby. It's so pretty. Thank you, Cindy. And then just, you know, getting rid of all my hot glue smooches there. And then I cut this stencil out on my Cricut. It is on the Oracle um, 813 stencil vinyl. And the image that I use there, I did not create that myself. Um, it is right from Cricut Design Space. And so just placing that down, the beautiful, beautiful word spring. It's so pretty. And then of course, using my pastelli blue there and my Debbie brush, I am going to dab, 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 dab all the way across my stencil. And then of course, weeding that out. It just turned out so perfect, you guys. It's so, so pretty. Pulling all of that off, nice crisp lines, love it. All right, and this flower, I'm so sorry, I don't remember what it's called, but it is from the Dollar Tree. I think these flowers are stunning. I have used them a few times in my DIYs, you guys, and seriously, like how pretty are those? So gorgeous. And then again, using one of my butterfly clips, I'm just taking off the clippy part and I am going to just hot glue that onto the top for my final touch. And that is it for this one, you guys. Isn't it so, so pretty? I absolutely love it. And now let's have a little chat about our sponsor, Skillshare. Whoop, whoop. All right, everybody, I hope that you're enjoying these spring pastel DIYs. So I just wanted to pop in here really quickly to talk about Skillshare. I have worked with Skillshare before, and I am telling you, you guys, they are incredible. They're an online learning community where thousands of creators come together to explore their creative journeys. So one of the best things about Skillshare is that their classes are about 60 minutes or less. You can learn at your own pace and they're curated specifically for learning. So there are no ads. So that means uninterrupted learning for your creativity. 
So the classes are a combo of video lessons along with a class project at the end. It is so cool, you guys. There are tons of different topics that you can choose from, like calligraphy, home decor, photography, like the possibilities are endless. All right, you guys. So I have really loved diving into Skillshare as I've shared it with you guys. And the most recent class that I've taken is called Style Your Space, Creative Tips and Techniques for Interior Design by Emily Henderson. She is an author and also a host on HGTV. Now with this class, I learned a ton about my personal style, how to incorporate that into my home and also into my DIYs so that my space feels like me. So you guys, the first thousand people who click the link down in my description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity. It is 100% worth it, you guys, just to check it out. So look down in my description box, click that link and get started. I would like to send a huge shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And with all of that being said, let's get back into those DIYs. All right, you guys, last one, DIY number three. And this one was inspired by Sammy over at Unicorn Dust Designs. She made this last spring and I just thought it was so, so beautiful. So taking one of these cutting boards from the Dollar Tree and my white chalk paint, magically, I am going to paint the whole thing up. So I did the front, the sides and the back. And then look at this paper, you guys. This is again from Dollarama, from one of those scrapbook, you know, pads of paper. It's so beautiful. I am just going to cut this down to size so that it fits on my cutting board. And I don't know if you guys remember, but like a long time ago, there was a company called, I think it was Creative Memories. And this is a um corner rounder that i still have i, I it's probably 20 years old because i used to scrapbook you know and so i just cut off the two um top corners there so it would match the shape of the cutting board and then using my mod podge just putting that into place and i grabbed my little roller this is a roller that i got from cricut it worked okay just to get rid of all any air bubbles that are you know stuck underneath that paper and then just making sure that my corners are nice and secure and then going over top with my Mod Podge again just like that over the top mod podge and then i just blasted it really quick with my heat gun now taking one of these wooden plaques i got it at the dollar tree i am just going to use my white chalk paint and i believe i did two coats of the white chalk paint there and just the front and make sure you get all the edges and then i got these little um i guess they're, they're like silver pearls. They're from Dollarama. Um, you can get something very similar at Dollar Tree though as well. And I'm just going along the top and the bottom of this little plaque. I am a sucker for details, you guys. And every little detail I think that I put into my projects, I just think it just, you know, makes it better <laughs> let me know down in the comments like I don't know I just I, I love doing these little things just to you know step them up a notch you know what I'm saying and so you saw there I did put a little bit of my white chalk paint over those little beads just to make it all cohesive and now I'm just using this burlap ribbon I'm pretty sure I got it at Walmart and my daughter Abby just gave me a bag of M&Ms so that was very very nice of her needing needing a little bit of a you know sugar rush while I'm crafting 
<laughs> and so I'm just using some hot glue and I hot glued the plaque onto the top there and then just putting a little bit of hot glue around my burlap ribbon securing it on the back as well and this is going to create a little pocket for the florals that we're going to throw in here and just cutting it down a little bit I didn't want it to be too too bulky on the back and just you know again using that hot glue all the way around making sure that it's nice and secure there we go and then I'm gonna cut off you know those little scraggly bits that are all over from the burlap ribbon there we go Ta-da! and so I cut this stencil again off on my Cricut Again, this is from Cricut Design Space, this image. I did not create it myself, but it's so pretty. It says, bloom well where you are planted. And so I am gonna use two different colors for this stencil. So I'm just covering up um, that those middle words there and using, again, the same pastel blue chalk paint that I created I'm just going to use my dabber brush and dab 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 along the along the stencil on the top and the bottom and then you will see I do blast it with my heat gun to make sure that it's nice and dry because I do have to tape the, the blue off there so that I can do my second color so using a little bit more tape and then my cashew chalk paint and just filling in the rest of my stencil and I'm not too worried about full coverage either you guys because you know if it looks a little bit rustic that's okay So just pulling up my stencil now because I normally I would pull the stencil up when it's still wet but this time because I had to dry it it was a little bit tougher to bring it up but it worked out perfectly and now just using my stencil brush from the Dollar Tree and a little bit of white chalk paint I just wanted to just dress those words down just a little bit so they weren't so like you know stark color I did want them to kind of blend in a little bit and so I used some of my greenery and another little butterfly from Dollarama to finish this piece off and so now to create a hanger I decided to use these eye hooks here um, and I'm just going to mark off you can see I'm using my measuring mat and I marked off one inch from each side of my board and now I am just screwing those eye hooks into place there I did use my power drill though to drill some pilot holes before I screwed these in just to make it easier and so that the you know the wood wouldn't crack or anything like that and so now I am stringing some of my uh, my beads that I used the antique wax on and I believe I used 10 I, I'm pretty sure there are 10 there and I'm just going to um, divide that in half and then create a little loop in the center use my lighter just to get rid of all of the little fuzzies on my piece of twine and just tie each end onto my little eye hooks here for my hanger and then this is done you guys it is so pretty look at that oh springtime I love it you guys that is it for our power of pastels DIYs I really hope that you enjoyed this and don't forget 
go check out my description box to hop on over to the next video. I hope you guys watch all of them. I'm sure that all of these talented ladies are going to have a ton of beautiful inspiration for you. Now, if you're new here coming from the hop, Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like what you see, do me a solid tap that like button, maybe subscribe, tell your friends, you know, all of that jazz. Stay tuned for the gag reel. Bye guys. Hi everybody, my name is Bree and welcome back to my channel! There's a rogue hair. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys on on a little secret. You see this right here? That is that wonderful root spray. <laughs> um, I would not be able to survive if that stuff didn't exist. I am not even kidding. Hmm. Look at those lips today. Oh my God. <laughs> That is lipstick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> Crafting, home decor. <laughs> okay. So one of the things that... <laughs> Let's do it. Focus. Focus. So whenever uh, ah, I can't, I can't do it.